glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Great morning, great morning. God is still on the throne. He is still doing great and amazing things. Glory to God. Ha, 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 ha. You know, Mark 11, 22 to 23 is so powerful, so phenomenal. Now watch this. Um, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou moved, and be thou planted into the ocean, or be thou, be thou uprooted, and be cast into the ocean, without doubt in whatever he is saying, he shall have whatsoever he says. Right? That's a very powerful text, by the way. It's a powerful principle in prayer. Now, oftentimes, when we are praying for something, right? Have you realized that um, we are asking God to move the mountains for us? If you are sick, you are asking God to take away the sickness. But look at what Jesus is saying. The principle of prayer. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Now, it's a very powerful um, principle that Jesus is introducing here to his disciples. I like, have faith in God. Have faith in God. You know, faith is a result of the Rema word. It's a word that the Holy Spirit has quickened. So even in the area of healing, right, when we are asking God to move the mountains, we are doing injustice to prayer. We need to hear what God is saying to us concerning the healing. And if I'm asking God to take away the sickness, where will he take it to? Did he not take away the sickness 2,000 years ago? Or if I'm just coming with the logos, the logos is a good place to start with the logos by his stripes I'm healed, right? It's a good place, but is that from a place of faith? Because many of God's children have died here yeah, when it comes to, to, to healing. <laughs> I pray for people to, to, to be healed. I see healing. I've seen healing. You know, I've seen people being healed. I've worked in hospital for a very, very long time. So it's one of my areas of passions. But many of God's children have died here in this area of healing because they have the locals. See, Jesus says, have faith in God. Right? Faith is a result of a rhema. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word. Now, that word, word, there it is um, the Greek word rema, which is a quickened word. It's a logos that has been quickened by the spirit. What God quickens in your, in your heart, it's called the rema. So this is what Jesus is saying. When you have faith in God, now you have the rema. You take that rema, then you speak to the sickness. Are you getting it now? You take the rhema, then you speak to the sickness. But if you are praying with the logos, it says, oh, the Bible says we speak to the mountain. That's not faith. You are not in faith. Faith is the rhema word. Now, in John chapter 6, 63, Jesus says, uh, the flesh profited nothing. The flesh profited nothing. But the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. The words, again, that word words, they in that uh, translation, the Greek translation, the, tra the, Greek, the Greek rendering of that word, it's, it's a rhema. The rhema that I speak to you, it is spirit and life. The rhema, that's a quickened word. Right? So it is that word, that rhema, that then speaks to the mountain. So it changes how we see prayer, changes how we view prayer, then we become victorious in the area of prayer. I am for prayer. I love prayer. It's very important that we pray, but countless times we are hypocrites in prayer. I'm sorry to say. You see, Jesus told us in Mark 11, 22, whosoever shall say to this mountain, now because I've got the rhema word, I've spent time in the presence of God. Now, I'm not asking God to do something that he's asking me to do. So, could it be we are struggling in the area of healing because we have not fully understood biblical principles on prayer? Speaking to the mountain, right? 
You can understand you get many people pray, you know, prayer chains for people that are, um, are sick. You know, those can also be dangerous. You will be multiplying unbelief. You know, many people already, after they prayed, ah, that one is serious, that one is bad. They don't have a rema. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Today, correct what ought to be corrected. Just correct what ought to be corrected. Let's not invite God to move our mountains. Mm -mm. God moved the mountain 2,000 years ago when he took our sins to the cross in Calvary. Let's have faith in God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name.